You're probably hearing a lot about social distancing, and what social distancing means is giving careful consideration to who you're in contact with. The reason that we're doing this is that this virus is spread through respiratory droplets. And so if you're very near to someone within about six feet and they cough or sneeze, they can spread this virus to you and you can then spread it on to other people. So the reason that restaurants are closed and large gatherings are not being allowed is because we don't want people to be in very close proximity and then spreading this virus more quickly. Now, I'm a pediatrician and I get asked a lot about playdates with kids being home from school. It's really important that we stay separate from each other during this time. Um, if kids are all getting together and sharing this virus, it defeats the purpose of us all staying home, avoiding large gatherings. We can slow the spread of this virus if we are thoughtful about how our own behaviors are going to affect our community. Some people are at a higher risk of getting COVID-19 very severely and being in the hospital or dying from this disease. And those groups are people over the age of 60, people who have lung disease or heart disease, people who have diabetes, or people who have weakened immune systems. So it's particularly important to be careful about being in contact with people who fall into one of those groups. Now, we don't necessarily want you to be in contact with them personally, but we don't want to isolate those folks either. And so think about creative ways that you can be in touch with your grandparents or your parents or friends of yours who fall into one of those groups. FaceTime with them, talk on the phone, stay in touch, but also keep them safe by staying away.